Hey, what's going on? It's Rogan Josh. I'm a bass player from Adelaide in South Australia, and we're doing a reaction video today to Touche Amore and their new song Limelight. This one is featuring Andy Hull from the Manchester Orchestra. I had to look up how to say the name. Uh, it apparently means some translation of touch or impact and love. So take from that what you will. I'm a massive La Dispute fan. Like, Touche Amore have a split EP with La Dispute. I do enjoy that EP, but they've just released Limelight. It's a brand new song with a new video. So I wanted to hear it. All right, let's go. Oh, I yeah. love that fade in. The shape talks. This is a very cool film clip. Like this seems like an indie movie. And that fade in, this is very much like later La Dispute kind of stuff. Or softer La Dispute kind of stuff. I don't even know who came first. I might be sitting here saying these guys are similar to La Dispute. And they might be the ones that came first, I have no idea. But I just love this kind of like easy to listen to sweet style, just. I love this kind of vocal. Yeah, that a lot like birds, spoken word, La Dispute style, I'm just a huge fan of. But tonight, we're moving slowly while the cavalry moves in for the kill. Sick bass tone. Good lead line. Bass line in the chorus is going for it. This tone that the bass player has is like, it's very raw. It's got that real kind of rattle to it, rattle to it that I like. It's just very, very cool. Indie kind of guitars. I love a band that can poke fun at themselves. We've poured ourselves in these sweet white dying dogs. Some nights not kissing. Sick man. This reminds me of uh, the kind of stuff that people that watch that Daria show would like. You know the show, uh, Daria's World? I don't know, can't remember what it was called. Clever, clever bass line. We can only expect the worst, but tonight, distortion on the high note. Hmm. Very funny. Before it gets big in the chorus, this is one of the most accurate representations I've seen of what it's like to be a small band and to be playing a show on a small stage done it many a time. I guess it's all about how you feel about the performance and what you want to do. Some of the best shows I've ever played were tiny shows with hardly anyone there, but we just played as well as we could, loved it, had a great time. I love that there's subtitles. Like the film clip obviously needs subtitles because they don't have the audio, but this feels like something that would be like a French film or a foreign film. Uh, just the way that it's shot, the, the kind of conversations that are being had. So it's like the subtitles seem very appropriate for it. I love that gang vocal scream on the chorus. Good voice. 
unique voice. It's like a alt rock, indie rock, triple J for the Australians kind of voice. It's very cool. It is that layering of the screen. Good build up. Oh, so good. Very taking back Sunday. Very good. I have no idea what's going on in the video. <laughs> she had something that upset him, then she seemed to check her bag and she was all right. Sorry if the pausing has been frustrating you. If I don't pause every 30 seconds, the video gets blocked. So that's just part of the reaction game, unfortunately. Oh, a slide? Dude, orange tiny terror back there. Is that a P-Base? That would explain the tone. Especially when I went up high. How cool to have a dude in your band that can do a slide guitar. All right, that was Touche Amore, Limelight. Very sick song, right into my style. Very similar to a lot of bands that I like, but then very unique. Now I missed this part back here. So they're talking, they're talking, yeah, we're good. And then, oh, he gave her the bag, all right. So she gave him an envelope, he gave her the bag. She goes to the bathroom, she opens the bag. Relief. All right, she's relieved and she's pretty stoked. All right, she's super stoked. And then she sneaks out the back, grabs a taxi, and then the dude is trying to call her at the end. It seemed like the transaction was pretty final. I don't understand why she would be... Like, he gave her the bag. She gave him something. He gave her the bag. And then she walked away with it. And then she had to sneak out. And then he's, like, trying to call her to find out where she is. I don't fully get it. It doesn't really seem to make sense. He wasn't really interested in having the conversation with her. He was just sitting there quietly until she started talking. But yeah, a bit of mystery, I guess. Uh, very open to interpretation. Well, I guess the important thing is I want to know. They did the film clip so well. It placed so much importance on the little things and the details, which was really nice. And the song's just cool. All right, so that was uh, my first time really listening to Touche Amore and their new song, Limelight. So that would have been Andy Hull doing the vocals that would have been the feature from manchester orchestra all right so it's not a regular in not a staple of the bands those vocals that's a shame but even without that the song was sick all right if you like this reaction you can hit like down below i am a twitch streamer you can come find me on twitch.tv slash rogan josh playing games every tuesday night talking about chat listening to some music i am listening to local music from friends bands because of all the copyright stuff with twitch so come on over, listen to some new music with me, talk to me about the music. Let me know if there's any songs that you'd like me to react to down below. And my band Capulet, uh, I've just uploaded our full discography back to 2005 through all of our band names and lineup changes. It's all for free and it's on capulatadelaide.bandcamp.com. The link's down below. Uh, listen to the latest album, Make and Believe, which is the newest stuff. We Won't Let Go is uh, the big EP that we released that went really well, uh, and I recommend that as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. All right, see ya.